Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a couple of uh, quick benchmark tests, um, a couple of more in detail ones uh, since my last video involving the uh, 970 Pro by Samsung. Uh, I only ran one benchmark by Crystal Mark and I wanted to go ahead and uh, run two other benchmarks and throw a couple of screenshots as well too. And uh, just a couple of little bits of information, I'll be doing this benchmark in Windows 7, though I'm pretty sure the speeds will probably be comparable in Windows 10. Anyway. So I um, just want to go ahead and show you device manager right there. So far, I'm actually seeing some really great results with this SSD drive, um, the little M2 970 Pro by Samsung. Uh, I've had it for about two or three weeks now. And like I said, some things you really notice a performance. It's uh, not really noticeable much. Um, some games will load a little faster. You know, you may notice a little second here or two. I guess um, the benchmarks just show numbers. They definitely don't lie, as I mentioned a number of times in my last video. But um, in real world performance, I guess it just really depends. Uh, I will tell you that when I actually uh, um, do some um, editing on uh, MKV video files, like 1080 and 4K videos, and I'm actually using the SSD to edit it a little bit, quite a bit of a difference. So let's go ahead and shoot um, some benchmarks here. And don't worry, even though <laughs> I have all three of them open, at the s open right now, I am not going to be running all three of them at the same time. That would just be ludicrous. So let's go ahead and get one started. All right, since the camera is aiming pretty much right at it, let's go ahead and run this one first. By ATTO, Disk Benchmark, version 4-ish. Same board as I uh, installed it on in the last video, X99 by MSI. And um, getting very comparable results uh, in speed tests and whatnot to what's advertised. Uh, 3500 read, 2500, 2200 write. Um, just want to go ahead and note that. I'll definitely put full specs of the computer I'm using right now. Um, you can actually see the, go ahead and uh, turn away here for a second, the CPU I'm currently using here. Let's go back here again. And you can start seeing the numbers are going up into the gigabyte a second range as the file numbers sizes increase here. The read speeds there are now starting to hit technical specs you see on the box and write speeds are getting close as well too. Write speeds are actually a little bit less, quite a bit less, well, again, that's not something you'd really notice. Less on what I'm getting here than as advertised, but hey, I'm getting two over two gigs a second. I don't really mind if I'm not getting 2,500 as opposed to 2,700. Pretty much the numbers are probably going to be re remain in the same range. It's actually the first time running this benchmark on this software. And also the numbers are pretty much around the same now, hitting the larger file numbers here. Previously on this computer, I was using uh, two Samsung's uh, 950 Pros as regular SATA SSDs in RAID 0. 
striping mode, so it's getting basically 500, 550 times two, about a gigabyte a second. I wish I ran some more benchmarks when using that. I'd probably be getting numbers about, I'd say a third of what I have here, or close to it. But uh, look in these numbers, big difference. And there's our first benchmark by uh, ATTO, this benchmark, version 4-ish, and uh, very impressive numbers. So let's go ahead to the Samsung Magician software. Uh, I actually did do a benchmark on this already, um, so the numbers will actually show up, but uh, we'll just go ahead and do it again. The numbers actually don't lie there either. Um, here we also have the uh, IOPS numbers as well too, also very high. And very close to as advertised on the technical specs of this drive. There's a little bit of an outcry involving the Samsung Magician software um, when you're installing this. Some very uh, spooky uh, privacy uh, EULA when you're installing it. Um, <laughs> as a joke, I uh, disabled my internet <laughs> while I have this software running since uh, I won't really re be needing it too much once this benchmark is done. Oh, maybe I'll run the little optimization uh, thing once and then just uninstall it. As far as I know, I believe this chip uh, is running the latest firmware, so the software is not really necessary at this point. Oh, I just noticed a uh, it actually tells you how long the benchmark will take, and there's a little second countdown meter um, going down there too. Last time I ran the benchmark took about two, two and a half minutes. Seems like this is going to take about the same time. Over 80% done. Probably getting very similar numbers here. Uh, I don't believe running one benchmark after another after another should be much of a concern in terms of uh, throttling if the chip starts getting too warm. But uh, hey, if you're wondering about that, we're about to find out. I run these benchmarks literally one after another. And you can see the numbers are pretty much the same, um, like a one or two percent change here and there, probably even less than that. Very impressive numbers there. So let's go ahead and crystal this mark and run a benchmark there one more time. All right, our last benchmarking software with the other results still showing. I went ahead and um, increased the um, size of this thing. So uh, you can actually see a little better, I have it at 150. I think 200 might be a little too large. So go ahead and run this. This is actually gonna run five cycles, I believe. So this will probably definitely take longer than when I ran it in my previous video involving uh, the 970 Pro. Some guess we'll be getting uh, more accurate results as an average kicks in. Thirty five hundred megs a second read. Absolutely amazing. Anyone hear just random sounds from your monitor occasionally, even when the computer's off? I keep thinking that static discharge coming from somewhere. Just, I don't know if you heard it, like literally 
in the last 15 seconds you probably heard one <laughs> from the motor itself and um, my little uh, <laughs> little six terabyte physical hard drive in the computer just making its usual noise while the SSD is cramming away We're about halfway done. The right speeds will start kicking in in a moment. Actually, you see at the top here the uh, progress, how many uh, out of five tests it's already run. So we're about halfway done here. I believe the advertised write speeds are over 2,500, approaching 2,700. Uh, I've actually been getting 2,200 to 2,400. Very impressive anyway. I definitely won't rant about missing a little two or 300 megabytes a second write speed. It's a read speed we really do a lot of. Though I will tell you, when installing Service Pack 1, when I did my reinstallation of Windows 7, as well as other stuff, other patches and whatnot installing software, I definitely noticed quite a difference. SP1 installed in just a little over a minute. Even a really fast SSD usually take two, two and a half minutes to install SP1, um, even with the powerful computers now. And mind you, this is still a really good CPU computer, though it is about 2014, 2015 technology, so going on three years now. We're almost done here. Last test about to kick in. Very impressive numbers, very similar to uh, the other two benchmarks. Um, this one's definitely taking quite a bit longer than the ATTO or the Samsung Magician software running this uh, test uh, five times. Very impressive numbers. And the last of our three benchmarks complete. And again, currently running Intel i7 5930K CPU on the X99 motherboard by MSI. I'll definitely shoot ahead some specs. Again, running Windows 7 64-bit Pro, Ultimate actually. Um, our Samsung 970 NVMe drive definitely showing up, showing off her numbers right here on the three benchmarks. One, here's two, and the last one. Definitely something to look into one day if you're very curious about improving speed. Even on uh, an older motherboard like this, your numbers definitely can vary for a number of reasons. Um, you definitely should look into that. Um, one of them is definitely PCI Express lanes, um, how many other SATA drives you may have. There's a number of op um, factors here. Oh, and another thing you definitely should do, update the driver over here as you can see I actually have a pretty late one actually just from earlier 2018 definitely a good idea to update this so you can actually get the hardware boost from the manufacturer whichever M2 driver SSD you use 
So I hope you enjoyed this. You got any questions, comments, feel free to shoot them. Uh, let me know. Shoot a like if you enjoyed this video, found it pretty informative. And uh, subscribe, I'll definitely be shooting more videos later on. Take care.